Oh, good morning, uh, racing fans, and welcome to the Interbet podcast and preview for Gravel 20th of December. It's a Friday night meeting. It's a nine-race program. We've got a 22 um, pentrometer and a seven-meter false rail, which is going to affect the horses that are badly drawn. And remember, we now run in draw order, not in uh, handicap order. It's a um, lovely day, as you can see, uh, out in my office. And we'll kick off, there's a barrier trial, 800 meters at 10 to 4. So we've got an early start today. And the first race is off at 25 past 4. And uh, this brings uh, McKellen. And he looks like an absolute good thing. Number one on the card. Marcus, drawn one, lots to like about him. And I think he's probably the way to start off the card. You can have a bet on him. He should be able to win. What can beat him? Well, running freely, I ran a cracking uh, barrier trial. And then ran a very good race first time I ran on really well he might be the big danger from a little yard that does extremely well um, Karen Anthony and I'm going to just make it a two horse race race two 1600 meters first leg of your bipod and it's a maiden plate fillies and mares preferential markers could follow up for the right team but this is a lot lot harder with the scratching of Marion Haste which I made the big danger Chrome Gypsy's got to be the big danger third run after a rest lots to like about this on the turf that's the question because remember, that's where we race tonight. Rose Dance has got a chance. Batsiana, uh, that's the big runner in the race, number 11. Serena Moodley, he might be able to upset uh, Anton Marcus, race one and two, put him into the play. Race three is the maiden plate, and they go 1,900 meters, and here you're either banker or you take the field, because the banker looks like Slew City Slew. I like him a lot. Uh, Keegan DeMello rides for Canama, a bit of a wide draw, but he's got the best form, this horse. And should win but if you don't think that he's a banker then you've got to put in a lot of horses riding the crest gray lingari um, there's jet leg night twice the flight so luckily it's not the first leg of the pick six we move on to that now which is the fourth race and that's merit rate of 76 fillies and mares they go 1800 meters and here you've got to go with silver magic looks like an absolute good thing uh keegan de Mello, uh for the dean Canama yard it goes back on the turf, ran a cracking good race on the turf behind Shoot the Wagon, got beaten half a length. Um, I thought my boy ran a particularly good race, so she does go on the turf, uh, this filly, and uh, she looks like the one to be with. In jest might be the danger. If you're looking for a Ruffy or a Torino for the Gavin Fenzel stable, might be a big danger. Race 5, 2,400 metre handicap, um, and here... I like pay back the money. I think this horse is a banker too. And Don Marcus on drawn three. Should be able to beat his stable companion Merlin from Berlin. Merlin from Berlin got a huge penalty for winning the chapter challenge. Went up 12 points. I know he was un in other sufferance, but that is a very, very big penalty indeed. So um, he got his penalty plus. Um, impact zone, my old boy. He'll run well. I think he'll be right there or thereabouts. But I'm going uh, strongly with uh, pay back the money. Top Classman's been running reasonably well, and he's got ability, this horse, and I think he's looking for the turf. Race 6, Merrill rated uh, 68, 1,400 metres, and I like a bit of a roughy here. I like a horse called Rocket Fire. I've been with this horse before. Last time I was with him, the time before. I think this horse is better on the turf, and this is where he's going now. Kamalo gets a ride on him, big up as far as the jockey's concerned. What are the dangers? Well, Northern Roots, your favourite. That's got to be a big danger. Dutch Alley goes into everything. Truly wicked, Anton Marcus rides this one for Louis Corson, and um, it's his first time he's put his leg up, but it's Christmas, and they might be coming uh, to get, grab all the Christmas pudding. Race 7, Merit rated 68, fillies and mares, 1,000 metres. If ever I've seen a field race, this is a... If you have to be, cut it up, Sarabi is your favourite. Kanya Sakai from a reasonable draw, got to have a big chance, this horse. Um, but uh, Turf, I think she's better on the, on the poly. Starlight, I do think, might be better on the turf, this filly, although she hasn't won on it. She's only won one race, so she goes into all my play. Fleet gets a tongue tie, a big up. Louis Horson, when he puts a tongue tie on, have a close look. Yas Brown, I think that uh, this race is open. Love theme, Spring Burst, Ginger Biscuit, you know, she's not even considered now, and she's always there or thereabouts off the right pace. Race 8, Mary rated 78, they go 1,000 metres, and... Um, a favourite here is Prince of Venice, Marcus, got good form and uh, should be very competitive. But there are a lot of horses in here with a chance. Moshev, this horse has got uh, top form and he's very well course and distance suited. He goes into all the play. Candle Cove might be an improver. Bravo Zulu, 
looks like a big improver to me with Kanye Sakai on. Leslie Shadowliner. Blinkers on and I think does make a big difference to him. So all those go into my play with Marcus's uh, ride, which is Prince of Venice, the favorite. Race nine, merit rated 80, 1200 meters. Horace Stoke Perry is your favorite. Got a big job for a three-year-old this horse. I think he's got very good ability, but uh, this will be the race that will define this horse because there's a lot of horses in here with some sort of chance. He should win, but Mudawari, very good handicapper. Agent Murphy, he's a three-year-old as well. Uh, well drawn at two and he gets Kamala. I thought that was a big big plus uh, The horse that uh, I like despicable Maybe he's better on the poly and he's drawn wide and captain Demonami don't leave this horse out of anything go back in his run Someone exciting it was a very good run the time before last he's had a had a warm-up run He might be cherry ripe for a race like this if you can overcome the draw open C1 in a canter told you is the best maiden in South Africa and he won in an absolute canter last time we were able to get on to him. Very interesting days racing. And uh, from me, James Goodman, and the whole Interbet crew, you have a great day out there at Gravel.